What's that, Tig? Have you found something? There. That's all that's left. Nom, nom, nom. Hey, Lily! What's wrong? It wasn't enough for everyone anyway. <laughs> Koopa, buddy. Try to be patient. Okay. We need to head into the jungle and stock up on some supplies. The Snake Charmer. Look out for fruits and nuts, but don't wander off too far. Stay nearby so nobody gets lost. Agreed? Hey, look over there. I think I can see some kind of fruit. <gasps> it's a flower. Mila, don't get separated. All right, all right. I'll be right there. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. Wow, there's another one. <gasps> and another. Leo? Tig! Yara! Hello? And what now? I've gotten lost. Hmm. Why didn't I just listen to Tig and his rule? Hey, but what's that? Where's that sound coming from? Told you so. He just wanted to take a quick break. Well, I am your captain, and I order you to continue flying, and I mean right now. Immediately. Fine, whatever. We'll manage without you, feather brain. Yeah. Uh, but how exactly will we fly? Just be quiet. Do you hear that? Music. Interesting, interesting. He's making the snake dance around. No, it's all the flute. That's what has control over the snake. And very soon, that flute will be ours. Was that you playing that beautiful music just now? Yes, I was playing the flute. I'm Mungo. Who are you? I've not seen you in the jungle before. My name's Mila. I'm traveling around with my group of friends. But we ran out of supplies, so we stopped to gather some more. And I, I, I got lost. And also, I am really, really, really starving. Hey, don't cry. Here, why don't you try these nuts? Mmm, how tasty. It's a cashew nut. Oh. There are loads of them here. Those are my friends. They're looking for me. Well, go to them then. And take some nuts with you. I'll gather some more for you and bring them. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mungo. <laughs> Leo, Tig, I'm here. I'm coming. Hmm. Move it quickly, <gasps> Melky. Get the magic flute and let's get out of here. Hey. Give it to me! I'll take that! No, me! No, I'm gonna hold it! No, me! Enough! Give it to me! Hey! I'll... I'll have you know that only a real snake charmer is capable of playing the magic flute. And that's me. <laughs> and I have an amazing plan! We're going to sneak onto Spots and Stripes' his flying ship, and with the help of this magic flute, we'll summon a snake! <laughs> then they'll see it, get frightened, and run away screaming! Which means that we'll get the ship for ourselves! <laughs> huh? Whoa, tasty. Well, too bad there aren't any more. But my new friend promised to bring us some more soon. Mila, so tell us, who's your new friend? Oops! I, I, I forgot to ask him what kind of animal he is. <laughs> the time has come for the snake charmer to magically call the snake. Watch and learn, my friends. No, oh, can I do it? I know how to. All right, give me that. This is how a real snake charmer should play the magical flute. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Let a master show you how it's done. Because the snake is already uh, here! Look over there! Uh, 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 Someone's shouting! It 
Sounds like it's near the ship. We should check it out. You stay here. I'll see what happened. There's no one here. Oh, I wonder what this is. Huh. It looks like some sort of flute. But how did it get here? <coughs> snake, snake. Snake on the ship! Oh, my goodness! We have to get it off our ship. Go away, shoo! Go away! This is our flying ship. I think the snake is telling us that it wants us to leave. Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> so what do we do now? She wasn't even scared of our stick. I don't know. Maybe we could find a bigger stick. Hey, you guys. I just remembered something. Far to the south, in India, there lived a cobra who was queen of the snakes. But it wasn't enough for her to rule over just the snakes. The queen cobra wanted to command the entire jungle. She ordered all of her snakes to slither into every burrow and every nest. And if the animals and birds refused to bow down to her, she would drive them out of the jungle. All the birds and beasts gathered for a meeting. Who would speak up against the snake? But nobody dared. There was only one beast who was brave enough, the mongoose. The courageous mongoose went to the queen cobra and challenged her to a battle. She readily agreed that if mongoose was victorious, that the snakes would go back to where they came from. For three days and three nights, Mongoose and Cobra fought. The snake tried her best to strike down the Mongoose, but he was so crafty and swift that she never managed to bite him even once. The Cobra grew tired and gave up. And so she retreated with her army of serpents back to the mountain passes and swamps. The birds could return back to their nests and the animals to their burrows. And ever since then, the mongoose has been considered the bravest animal in the jungle. Oh, wow. Well, if only that mongoose was here with us, he would have shown that bully of a snake. That's true, but how would we find him? The jungle is so big. Mila, I thought I'd never find you. Here are the nuts. I brought them as promised. Hurry! It's Mongo! He's the one I told you about. Mongo! You live here, so maybe you know where we can find a mongoose. Why do you need one? Don't you know I'm a mongoose? Wait, you're a mongoose? Well, of course. I'm a mongoose. Who else would I be? <laughs> and so am I, mongoose. <laughs> do you even know what a mongoose is? <gasps> He's the defeater of snakes. And you? <laughs> you're no bigger than little Mila. We'll just have to drive the snake from the ship all by ourselves. Snake? Could you show me what kind of snake you have there? Oh, it's my friend Nagi. What exactly is a Nagi? Nagi's a cobra. We're best friends. She always appears when I play my flute. She's not evil at all. She just got angry because you threatened her with a stick. Now she needs to be calmed down. But how do you calm her down? Well, for that, I will need my snake charming flute. Will that do? There's one over there. Huh, that's my flute. How did it end up over here? All right, now pick up your sticks and repeat after me. Are we in agreement, Featherbrain? Huh? We'll give you the biggest fish, and in exchange, you take us on further. It's <laughs> a really big one. Give me a hand, Melky. Pull. What? Pull uh. harder. <laughs> well, your 
truly a hero. The coolest snake charmer there ever was. She's so... scary. But you're not even frightened. Those who seem scary might be more scared of you than you are of them. Bye, bye. Little Blizzy. Whoa! A pine cone! What I saw at first! Mappa Pantiga put me in charge of collecting cones! Back. No! Let go! Martens! No. Target detected! The spotted one and the striped one! Get your best cones ready! And shoot! <laughs> Thank you, Spike! Now we have enough food supplies for the whole winter! Let's go to Mappa. Oh, he'll be so happy! <laughs> what now? <laughs> he says enough food supplies for the whole winter! <laughs> Whatever! Spike! Just to be clear, when are we gonna start stocking up on food? We are not! Martins never stock up on food. Martins use their brains instead. Ah. <laughs> Good job. Well done. It's great to see how many cedar nuts you brought us. In the taiga, food stock is the most crucial thing. Without it, you can't survive winter. When the blizzard comes, you will all be grateful to me. Where will it come from? Yeah, where does the blizzard come from? Where is her home? Mappa Pandiga, tell us please, where does the blizzard live? There's not much to tell, really. The blizzard lives in her icy castle on the top of the highest mountain where snow doesn't melt all year long. And when the winter comes, she goes down into the taiga. And then, be careful not to make her angry. If the blizzard gets angry, bad things are coming. She will freeze everyone and turn everyone into ice. No one will be spared, neither animals, nor birds, nor trees. They say once the entire taiga almost died because of its icy breath. Oh, dear me! Ah, I think it's getting chilly. What if that's the blizzard getting angry? The... the blizzard? Angry? That's just a fairy tale, right, Mappa Pendiga? Maybe it's a fairy tale, or maybe it's not. Leo, where are we going? We have to find the blizzard and find out what made her so angry. Look, there is no blizzard. You heard, Mappa. It's just a fairy tale. Did you hear that? That's her. The blizzard. Hide now! My baby girl! Baby girl? Quickly, quickly, hide the food stock before the blizzard manages to find it. Go ahead, hide them. <laughs> They're gonna be ours anyway. We just need to come up with a plan. Come on, Spike, think. Mappa Pandiga, Mappa Pandiga. We know why the blizzard is upset and angry. It's because she lost her only daughter, Blizzy. <laughs> we need to find her. Then the blizzard will stop being angry. And the tiger won't freeze! Ah, good idea. Okay, so the blizzard lost her only daughter. <laughs> Very interesting. I think I've come up with a plan. They're gonna give us all their stock themselves. Follow me!
Someone wants to find you so badly, they will give up everything, even their food stock for the winter. I want my mommy. Spike, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> You're supposed to watch the Blizzy. Don't let her out of your sight. <laughs> what is she doing? I don't know. Probably just wants to play a bit. Look here. No, stop. Huh? Here? give you the blizzy and in exchange you give us all the food you've stocked for the winter and everyone's happy so how do you like my plan how do you like my plan have a taste of this wait now tig we need to get blizzy back whatever it takes or else the taiga might come to an end what about our stock we'll have to find more then spike we take the deal. That's good. This is my kind of conversation. I've always been saying, you just need to use your brain. Spike, the blizzy <laughs> fell into a cave. What? Say what? A little more, and the whole tiger will be frozen. We need to get Blizzy back right now. Here. This is where she fell through. We'll have to follow her down there. Down there? Into the icy labyrinth? No! The icy labyrinth? Leo, we're not going in there, right? I will go. Oh, no way, Leo. Uh, okay, I'll go too. I'm just gonna get some cones first, because there are, you know, all kinds of bats and also spiders. <laughs> Boy, do I hate all these labyrinths. Lizzie! We should go right. Let's go right if you say so. Blizzy! Another dead end. There's no way we'll be able to find her. And even if we do, we won't make it out of here. Get up, Tig. We have to move. Uh, where on earth did those two go? <sighs> See, Shorty? It's all because of you. Why is it always me? She started it. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, Leo, look here. It's a cedar nut. So it means we've already been here before. A cedar nut? Wow! Tig, you're a genius! Me? Well, I mean, thank you. Okay, give me the cone. It will help us not to get lost. All right. So we can use the little nuts to mark our trail. I come up with the best ideas. <laughs> Tig, this way! We found her! <laughs> mommy! Where's my mommy? Hey, don't cry. You want your mom? Let's go. We know the right way. Ha! <laughs> 
Check it out, the fox. Just like a real one. Oh, Mila, seriously. Tig, don't interrupt. Mila, go on. Come on, show us what happened next. But the little hare <laughs> didn't get scared of the fox. <laughs> Look at that hare. He didn't get scared. <laughs> what a big hero. Monster! Run! Oh, uh, hey, Mila, is this also part of your performance? No. Hurry! Hey, careful! Oh, my Mica! Ah, you lot running! Not watching your step! Mielsa! Thank you. So what happened exactly? Mielsa! Mielsa's coming! Oh, that's Mielsa! He is so enormous! He's a hero! He saved our little boy! Yay! What now? A hero? Hero! Where? Hero! He's hero! safe! So what now? I'm a hero? <laughs> you hear that, Leo? I'm apparently a hero! <laughs> sure you are, Tig! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Come to her. What is this? Oh, your wiseness! It's the first heroic deed! Oh, hero! You saved our beloved little boy! And that's why we like to invite you to a feast! In your honor! Feast in my honor? This is so awesome! I'm a hero! 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 Tig, hero. you can't be serious. Sure I'm serious. Just watch me. Come on, guys. Come to my feast tonight. Praise the hero. Praise hey, the you need hero. to be more careful carrying me. Praise Don't let the hero, hero fall, right? Oh, hero, Tig the Courageous. Are you quite happy staying with us? Uh-huh. <sighs> it's a pity Leo can't see me right now. He would never believe this. <laughs> Is that my picture? Awesome! Now I have something to show Leo at the feast. Careful! Hey! Help me! Ooh, made it. That was a close one. Praise the hero! Oh, Praise come on, hero. it's nothing. Praise Seriously. The, the second deed, the second the deed. Hero. Oh, your royal highness. It's the second heroic deed. Take this! Get out of here! The third deed! It's the third deed! Praise the hero! <laughs> That's Praise right! Hero. It's so much fun Praise being a hero. hero! Praise the hero! Oh, great hero Tig! <laughs> the legend's telling the truth! You came back to us again! The legend? Huh! <laughs> what kind of legend? An ancient legend! It happened a long, long time ago. <gasps> Weak and small was the Lemming tribe, afraid of everything. Anyone could hurt us. But most of all, our tribe was afraid of the forest monster. Every year, the monster would come to our pantry and plunder it. The lemmings then started to pray. Oh, great spirit of Tiger, we are small and need your protection. The spirit of Tiger heard them and promised to send down a hero. But 
the lemmings didn't recognize him right away. Only after he performed three heroic deeds, they realized he was the hero. The lemmings lowered their heads before the hero and told him about their troubles. The hero then went out and made the forest monster go away. That's awesome! What happened then? And then the hero left. But he said that if the forest monster would ever start bullying the tribe again, he will come back and we will recognize him by three heroic deeds. And now he's here. Yeah? So is he. <laughs> it's you, oh great hero. Praise the hero! And now, when you are here, you will chase away the scary forest monster. Praise the hero! Heh, <laughs> not a problem. So who's your monster, then? A uh, chipmunk or something? <laughs> chipmunk? <laughs> no, it's actually a little bigger. Actually, I'm talking about Bilza. Bilza? <laughs> Bilza. You know what? I'm... I'm not ready to be a hero. I'm not hero material, really. I think you should find someone else, okay? Lemmings, the hero has to perform a heroic deed! Hero! 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 Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Praise the hero! Praise I don't want to be your hero! hero. Let me out of here, you hear me? I need to go home now! Praise the hero! I mean, I'll be back in the evening in time for heroism. Come over here. I saved your life. It's your turn to help me. Go find my friends. Please? Okay. <laughs> Cuba! <laughs> you missed! <laughs> There's Tick! Tick! And um, they put him in a cage! Um, uh, oh. Hey, wait a minute! Did you just say cage? Go back and start from the beginning! Hero! 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 Why did I decide to become a hero? hero, hero I could be at home right hero, now with Leo. Hero, Lemmings, the time of heroism has come! Leo, my friend, where are you? Hero, do you feel that you're ready to fight the forest monster? No, the hero's ready! <laughs> Good luck, hero. We believe in you! some kind of agreement? Okay, this is the end. Tig, don't be scared. I'm here. Leo, buddy, oh, you're here. You here to save me? Yes, Tig, I have a plan. Leo, are you trying to blind him? Is that your plan? Patience, Tig. The performance is only getting started. Leo, a monster! Oh, this is it! Goodbye, my friend. Scary monster. <laughs> Here's your scary monster, Tig. <laughs> wow, guys, that was something. What a great idea you came up with. Even Beelza got scared of you. It's you. 
who deserve to be called heroes. Oh, greatest of heroes. Oh, no, we're not your heroes. We were simply saving Tig. He's our friend. And the thing we used to scare away Bielsa is Micah. Oh, in that case, in that case, let's have a feast to honor Micah. And friends! And friends! <laughs> the Micah and Friends Day. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh, you're a wiseness. Leo, I did perform three heroic deeds. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, Tig, you're hopeless. <laughs> Off with the feathered ones. See what all the buzz is about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoot, shoot. Pipe down, you hear me? Who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? We did, did it. it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoe feather freaks get moving. Your presence here we're disapproving. Messing with my sleep, who? Well, I say shoe. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing about the thing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoe feathered one shoe. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Feathered ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle to a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoo now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -uh. Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Ooh. Oh, stop oh. it. Cut it out right now. Yeah. The birds are leaving. Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? Now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to draw up our battle plan. Yara, you wait over here. 
Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. Now are we going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mappa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry, so he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes, for animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent leopard to fight them. Whoa. And then wolf. But they returned empty-handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the tiger. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the martins. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> 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 The spirit of the tiger, come to us. Oh, come to us, spirit of the tiger, and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Go on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the taiga, please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the taiga, please, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. Ha, ha, ha.
I get it now. It all makes sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Build your nests. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdies, sing this song. Sing out loud, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you see? Watch this. I got this. I am going to hit it on the first try. <laughs> you missed. It's all it's all because of the wind. <laughs> sure, the wind. <laughs> well, let me give that another shot. <laughs> Something always gets in Tig's way. A foundling. Huh? Look at what I found. It was there in the sand. Oh, an egg. I wonder who it belongs to. And, oh, I wonder who's going to pop out of it. Or, or what's going to pop out of it. For something to pop out of it, one of us will have to sit on it first. So, Tig, go ahead. <laughs> sit down. Uh, why do I have to do it? Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. Curious. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork. I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. Ow! What in the? The snake bit me! Relax, will ya? It's just a little turtle. Oh, look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> A vulture! <laughs> oh, a three-course meal! Hurry into the forest! Phew, that was too close. <laughs> we'll meet again! <laughs> Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. Maybe he's a little weird? I got it. That must be why the other turtles ditched him. Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will. Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him. Why, a tiger, huh? He could become a great leopard. Oh, I will call you a little baby T. <sighs> Remember, baby T, tiger is the tiger's king. <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T. Do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Because they are really, really super fierce. Roar! Make sense? Well, now you try. Come on, louder, like this. Roar! Enough, now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, 
that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. We leopards are experts at this. Rawr! <laughs> It's not quite like a leopard, <laughs> but it's a good start. Ah! And who's that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, Baby T, your mission right now is to catch this dragonfly. And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! I think it's my turn to train Little T now. No way! Because he's still not a real tiger yet! But he won't be! Because Baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard! Tiger, leopard, guys! Does it really even matter? He's just a baby! Oh, guys, guys! W where is T? Baby T, come out! Say something! We're here! Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. Yoo-hoo! Baby T! <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Mm. Oh, Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle? He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way, but where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that T is a water dweller. Yoo-hoo! T, where are you? Say something! Uh, there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up! It turns out that T is a water dweller. What, a water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes, he's at the river. <gasps> but guys, the vulture. <laughs> My lunch order's here, with an extra crispy tortilla shell. <laughs> Baby T. Could you say that again? Didn't catch that. Keep your filthy beak off Baby T. Mm. <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner. <gasps> Run, T. Save yourself. <laughs> 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 Hey, you! Cut 
Let it out. Baby oh. tea. Uh, oh. 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 Yeah, take uh. that. Uh. What is uh. this thing? Uh. I let it go. Food anyway. Just know that I like to come back for seconds. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Well done, baby T. <laughs> That's my student. Uh, no way. I taught him. <laughs> no, we taught him together. <laughs> <laughs> your family. And well, I wanted to say you were one awesome tiger. And a brave leopard. T, don't forget to ride. <laughs> Lost inspiration. Ready? Yeah, I was born ready. Go for it. Okay, guys. Watch and learn. Huh. Oh. Well, want to give it another try? Nah, I'm so bored. How about we play some tag instead? No, thank you. We play tag every day. Ugh. Well, then, maybe go to the river? Why, I don't mind. There are such beautiful water lilies there. The river again? Like we haven't done that a billion times already. <sighs> Boring. Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration. Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration. Breaking news! Breaking news! Stork Did you Theodore hear? Has Theodore has lost his uh, inspiration. <sighs> yeah, so. What do you mean? You said it yourself. Boring. Here's our chance for some adventure. We'll help Theodore find this. Thing in spur. Oh, yeah? You're right. Come on, let's go. Leo! By the way, what is inspiration? Well, ta ta ta, ta 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 ta. <laughs> ta ta ta, ta 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 ta. The sun peaked from the clouds like a star among the crowds. Oh, no, that's no good. Hello, Theodore. We heard that you lost your, uh, the thing that, what's it called, huh? Ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta. How about we help you find it again? Could you tell us what it looks like, this thing we're looking for? The inspiration. Oh, it's so luminous. It's so, so magnificent. It, it's like a... Uh, uh, like a flower? Like... Uh, 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 achoo! Uh, inspiration livens up everything. Even the most commonplace trees, you can see how they breathe. Oh! Wow! Oh, wow! I think I found it! Found what? That thing, you know. Ta-ta-ta! Ta-ta-ta! Let me have a look. Hmm. Hmm. Well, indeed, this magical stone is very similar to inspiration. Huh. This is the one you call inspiration. This stone is truly magical. A magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! A magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! A magical stone. What is this magical stone? It is so shiny, so beautiful. Hmm, beautiful and shiny? I like the sound of that. The magical stone must be mine. Hmm. Ta 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 ta. Oh, very good. <laughs> That's our Theodore. Be quiet. Theodore has to know something. 
<clears throat> and now I will sing for you my new song. Uh, it's, to be honest, it's not exactly ready yet, but still. <laughs> <laughs> and now. Help, help, help me. You hear that? Someone's calling for help. Let's get moving. Go, go. The magical stone! <laughs> Spotty and Stripe are coming back here. Let's run! Hmm. That's strange. No one was there. Who <gasps> cried for help? Hold on! Where's the stone? It was right there! <gasps> Martins! They've stolen our stone! <clears throat> Such cunning trickery! I just can't believe it! In a world where this is possible, there's no place for inspiration. I'm sorry. I have to be alone. I guess he must be very upset. Tell me about it. Once again, he lost his... Ta-da-da, ta-da-da. The magic stone was stolen. You know what? We're going to get the stone back. <laughs> Good idea. Then inspiration will come back to Theodore. Let's go. <laughs> Give me the stone! We're the ones who found it! Is that right? Finders, weepers, loses, keepers. Oops, no wait. Finders, keepers, loses, weepers. But isn't that right? Sounds about right. <laughs> and you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> Give us a stone! Not gonna happen. Let's roll! Go Give us the stone! <laughs> I think we lost them. Haha, -ha, you're busted! Give me the stone! No, it's mine now! Marcus, <gasps> let's go! <laughs> Give back our stone! Not a chance! <laughs> Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie has rescued the magical stone! Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie no, has rescued no, the magical the stone! stone. can't catch Magpie for sure. But what are we going to say to Theodore? Well, you see, all in all, the stone was almost in our hands. But then we lost it. You mean that is to say you did all of this for me? Yes. Yes, because we wanted to give you back your, your da-da-da-da-da. Inspiration! We tried our very, very best. We really did. Will you forgive us, Theodore? Forgive you? But for what? This is the most inspirational thing I've ever heard. Nobody's done ever anything like this for me. You are my inspiration. And the stone? <laughs> it's just a stone. Really? Sure. You know what? I think my song just might be ready now. Here, listen to it. As the clouds depart the sky, inspiration makes us fly. As the clouds depart the sky, on your friends you can rely. <laughs> Let the sun shine upon friendship. <laughs> to the sun will wave hello. We're all friends, don't you know? Whatever happens, rain or shine, when together we'll be fine. We'll make it a joint venture. Have a look 
Look at all this magic. Oh, 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 oh. With such friends, nothing is tragic. Oh, 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 oh. Round and round, sun bunnies dancing. Oh, oh. Days they are enhancing. Oh, 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 oh. Have a look at all this magic. With such friends, nothing is tragic. Round and round, somebody's dancing. The stone has to be there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Gotcha! I got it! <laughs> uh, 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 mommy! Uh, help! Uh, breaking news! Uh, Magpie saved the magical stone from the thieves! Have a look at breaking all news. this magic. magic. With such friends, nothing is tragic. Round and round, sun bunnies dancing. Happy days, they are enhancing. Get up, lazy bones! <laughs> Time to wake up! Uh, uh, what if we skip it today? I'm so sleepy. Uh, yeah. You sleepy heads! Yo, line up! Suck in that gut! And now... <laughs> Some water aerobics? What? It's time for target practice! What, target practice? Okay, there's an old stump in a clearing. Well... Who will be the target? One, three, two. This will surely be you. <laughs> Why do I always have to do it? Quiet, you. Now get to the hollow. Where? To the hollow. Ready and aim. Fire! Whoa, missed. All right, enough. Hey, what's with you? Can't you be a good sport? We're playing a game here. Well, it's a horrible game. Huh. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's like the best game ever. <clears throat> Do you want me to show you a real game? Playing Battleship. Hey, all hands on deck. Drop anchor. Aye, aye, Captain, set sail. Captain, I spy some reefs dead ahead. When you need something done. Whoa! Well, how about that? You see? Now that's what I call a real game. Ha! <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> On the other hand, if this was a pirate ship... A pirate ship? <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. But where would we get a pirate ship? Why don't we just build one? What? <laughs> Pirates don't build their ships. <laughs> they steal them. <laughs> All we've got to do is wait for the right moment. Guys, we're going to be late for Mama's lesson. We better hurry up. <gasps> right. Let's get going. Spike, check it out. What? They're gone? <laughs> Are the borders ready? Borders away! Charge! Charge! <laughs> 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 
Hi, Mappa Pandiga. Oh, we're sorry we're late. The one who is late steals time from the one who waits. And time is something you can't get back. But today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk to you all about friendship. Mm, can anyone break these twigs? <laughs> that is so easy. I mean, look how thin they all are. <laughs> Tig, you can't break a single one. What sort of crazy weird magic is this? Weird magic? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, why don't you give it another try? Well then, have you figured it out what the magic is? I know! I know! Pick me! Of course, go on, Mila. When we are together, we are strong! That a girl, Mila. Pirates! Cannon on board! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Down with the enemy flag! Huh. A pirate ship has to have a pirate flag! A pirate flag! Yeah. Spike, look how crooked and bent their swords are! <laughs> They're sabers, and it's Captain Spike! Y'all got that? It's Captain Spike! Uh, Captain Spike, uh, what are we going to do when Spatty and Strength come back? Yar, we'll cut them to pieces. Do you see how many cannons we have? Do you see how many sabers we have? Yes. <laughs> They're all bent. <laughs> I also have an idea. A brilliant pirate idea. <laughs> <laughs> Jungle there? Yes, Mila. Nothing but thick, impassable jungle. And wild animals. And man eating fish. <laughs> and aggressive spiders. <laughs> Perhaps we should avoid this desert island. Really? How come? The only way to become a true sailor is on a desert island. But perhaps it's far away. What are we going to do while we're sailing to the island? Ideas? We will gather supplies. You, Mila, collect some nuts. Tig will collect mushrooms. I'll take berries. Okay, let's make it happen. Ah, hey, Striped. Getting ready for a distant cruise? That's none of your business. Well, I I'm just worried about you because your crew is quite wonky. You are the wonky one. Ah, you should have heard what Leo called you. <laughs> he said, Tig's no good as a helmsman. Give him the ship and he'll sink it just like that. And Mila said, Yes, I can steer myself. Let Tig run around like a good cabin boy for a bit. But from our point of view, it's pretty obvious who the real captain of the ship is. Really? And who is that? Ah, oh dear. Of course it's you, Striped. Only you have stripes on your fur, like a real sailor. Yep, he said just like this. How can he be a captain if he doesn't Whoa. even have stripes on his fur? And Milo went, we must make Leo a cabin boy so he won't get a big fat head. <laughs> can you imagine? They also said that there's no place for girls on board. Can you believe it? What? What? Yeah, they said that. Can you imagine? Wh what? Yar, pirates! Come on, put her in the brig! <laughs> no! Leo! Tig! Help me! Nobody's gonna help you! Yo ho ho! No, no one will save, save you now! now. Oh no, so sad! <laughs> so, you have stripes on your fur. Believe it or not, yes, I do! So what? You'll never become a captain. A captain? <laughs> of you two? No, thank you. I will never step aboard your ship again. You can go play 
by ourselves, you and Mila. No way. You can have Mila. I don't want to see you again or else. Or else what? <sighs> hmm. What's that? <gasps> it's Mila! Leo, Jean, help me! <laughs> hey, you! Let Mila go right now! No way! Your crew member is now ours! And the ship as well! <laughs> Yo ho ho! <laughs> Here we come! Cry, Melky. The spots and stripes flew somewhere over this way. That means the treasure's gotta be nearby. But we're already out of food. Uh, this is the last berry we have. That's the last one. Give it to me. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 What's no! What's going no. on? <laughs> uh, beautiful land. I told you, didn't I? Come on, my feathered friend. There's plenty to eat just up ahead. <laughs> 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 Oh, mice! Happy Oot. haunting! <laughs> <laughs> land! Land! Beautiful land! Oh, 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 how I missed you, land! Hold on! Spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. Ah! Oh, oh, ah! Uh, 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 Who are you? You fell right out of the sky. What are you running from? But, 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 but running? We're not running. Nope. Not running. You just said spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. Who are they? And why are you afraid of them? Wait, uh, afraid? Us? Oh, oh, why, yes, of course we're afraid. Spots and stripes are, uh, they're, uh, uh, they're horrible monsters. Worse than you. Hmm? Uh, I mean, you're better. Uh, they kidnapped our entire family. Uh, everyone. Uh, and now they're hunting me. And my brother. Right, little bro? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> poor little us. Oh, poor us. Poor us. <laughs> Milky? What's up? Poor us. Oh, yeah. Poor uh, us. Oh, yes. Poor oh, us. Poor oh, miserable so little hungry. creature. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hmm. We'll be more than happy to take you in and give you some food. Come along with us. <laughs> uh, 
So go on and tell us more about the monsters you spoke of. The Spots monster and the Stripes monster. Well, well, they're, uh, they're, uh, I mean, they're, uh, uh, blah. Wow! Big eggs! <laughs> um, I'm, do, do those eggs taste good? Do they taste good? Are you being serious? Those eggs are platypus eggs. Those eggs hold our future children. Uh, no, 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 no. You misunderstood him, your platypusness. What he meant was that the Spots monster and the Stripes monster really love delicious eggs for lunch. Yeah, lunch. And dinner as well. And breakfast also. What? But they wouldn't dare. Yes, beware the Spots and Stripes. It would be best if you attack them first. These monsters are going to regret ever stepping foot near our great village. Right, my platypus friends? Yeah, we won't let anyone take away our children. Well, we gotta go. Thanks for your hospitality, Toodles. Toodles! Come on, brother. Come on, come on, little brother. to go on a mission for reconnaissance. Great idea, Martik. In the meantime, we'll build a shelter for tonight. Tig, let's go. Where are you going? With you, to do reconnaissance. <laughs> Martik, you're too young for reconnaissance. Why don't you go and help the girls? La, 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 la. We're discovering a world of miracles. And we cannot That's wait. not fair! I want to go on a reconnaissance mission, too! I mean, after all, it was my idea! Cuba, we'll show them. You and me are not little babies. Come on! I wonder, do you think there are any monsters out here? Whew. Now that I've stretched my legs, I'm ready. Huh, huh. I'm ready to fight them! Huh. Hey, is anybody here? Hello? Where is everyone? How are you? I flew here. Hi. Come on, let us out. Spots monster and stripes monster. They fit the description. They're really small for monsters, though. Hey, who are you calling a monster? <laughs> Us? I think they're still children. Hey, let, let us, us go, go already. already. Hey. It's disappeared. One of the eggs has disappeared. Did you steal one of our eggs? We didn't steal anyone's eggs. They must have hid it. Where is it? Confess. You're not getting out of that cage until you tell us where the egg is, you monsters. We didn't steal anybody's eggs. Kuba, we have to find that egg somehow. But where do we find a missing oot, egg? Oot, oot, mice. <laughs> mice. Whoa, I know him. That silly <laughs> villain from <Mice>. our forest. <laughs> but what's he doing here? Let's follow him. What a brilliant idea! Yes, it was! Yes, it was! <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> <laughs> now, Spots and Stripes will leave us alone. <laughs> it seems like local mice don't want me to find their hiding places. <laughs> well, if you say so, then let's keep flying! The treasure awaits us. <laughs> of course! It all makes sense now. You keep them here. I'll bring back the ones with the beaks. Huh? Wait, wait, who's over there? <laughs> it's Kuba. Get him. He's all alone. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spike, what do we need a four for? <laughs> I guess you're right, huh? <laughs> hey, Billy. Come on, let's move! Get out of here! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. 
What the heck? We're overloaded! What are you doing? Get out of here, Kuba! Yeah, go away! Look, there's your way! Aha! Get those imposters! So much, brave Martik and courageous Kuba. You saved our children. Please forgive our rudeness. Your enemies managed to deceive us. Martins can be like that. But how did they get here? Can you please tell us exactly where here is? Everything is so strange and so different. And you are all so interesting. Yeah, well back where we come from, only the birds have beaks like that. We're surprised to see you as well, but there's no need to be alarmed. There is an ancient legend that long, long ago, the land was once one, and it was surrounded on all sides by vast oceans. The ancient earth had all kinds of different animals and birds. Some were like you, and some were like us. Yet they all lived together, and nothing ever came between them. But then, disaster struck, and the Earth split apart. Parts of the Earth floated away on the world's ocean. You floated to the north, and then became Eurasia. Well, we platypuses stayed on this piece of land, which is called Australia. So that means this is Australia? What are the Martins doing in Australia? Villain, you keep flying. The treasure's nearby. What is this? All oh, the leaves have turned brown. It sort of looks like a drought. Do you think we should land? Whoever lives here probably needs some hey, help. Hey, you guys! Take a look at this! Down there! <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Oh no! I can't see what I'm doing! <laughs> The stone flower. Oh, the moors. I think that's what this was. It's all smashed. It's all ruined. We can't fly with this big hole. We need to fix it. Okay, guys, let's split up. Mila, Yara, and Lily, go find some food and water. Tig and I will work on fixing the ship. <gasps> Leo, Leo, take a look. <gasps> oh. I am Taraval, the 82nd, uh... <laughs> How's it going? Uh, how's it going? I hereby accuse you. Hmm, okay. I hereby accuse you... Of a most terrible crime. <gasps> I know the rest. <laughs> of a most terrible crime. Who more? Take them into custody! But there are so many. In Kubor, Kubor's just one. Would you be so kind as to tell us what the crime is that we committed? Uh, uh, well, uh... uh. I can do it, Dayan. A long time ago, there came an era of a most terrible drought. 
but not a single green leaf was left in the whole of the sacred eucalyptus grove. The entire koala tribe nearly starved, but one very brave koala decided to save them and go in search of water. The road was long and most difficult, and just when she thought that all was lost, a bright spark of light appeared and she saw the scattering of stone flowers. When she broke it off, it began to rain. It watered the desert, and the desert began to bloom once again. Ever since then, the stone flower has been passed down from leader to leader. That's right. Or at least it was, until you decided to destroy my ancestral heritage. And that's exactly why we must punish you, strangers. By the way, Dayan, how exactly should we punish them? Uh, uh, hold on a sec. I want to go to the scattering of stone flowers. And if they are growing there, I will pick one for you. Then you won't have to punish anyone anymore. Leo, it's too dangerous. You don't even know the way. You'll get lost. No, I won't. Tarval can go with me. Or he can just give me a map. But ugh, I don't know the way. The legend never mentioned that part. And maps? Oh, well, we don't have any maps. Uh, most wise one. Uh, there actually is. A map? But what map? Where is it? Right here. Oh, toot. Oh, toot. Well, well. So I guess we'll just follow the spots and stripes, and when they find the stone flower, we'll steal it from them. <laughs> hey, hey, shh. We're going to steal it. I said shh. Oh, got it. <laughs> Whoa! We haven't seen this before. Uh, in order not to endanger the precious life of Taraval the 82nd, I suggest that you go around. But that's too far. I've got an idea. Leo, maybe we should go around. Okay. Then like this. Tuba, just calm down. Try to stay still. Okay, I get it. I'm bored as well. I have an idea. Let's look for water on our own. Uh, but Kubor uh, was ordered to guard, uh, not to look. But you can still guard us on the way. Don't worry, we won't run off. Yeah, we won't escape. Don't you think Teravo will be happy with you if we find water? Happy with Kubor? Uh, yes, Kubor really wants that. It looks... it looks like a... Yes, 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 little one. That is the stone flower. But that's nothing. My uncle Pernululu the 68th, ruler of the great eucalyptus grove on the ocean, taught me a little nifty trick to handle even the very biggest wave. <laughs> Tig, it's like the mountain in the winter. Kubor is smart. Kubor will find the water and bring back another eucalyptus. Where did you get the strength to be so ridiculous? Personally, I'm so thirsty. All I can think about is water. I'm just a koala, and koalas never drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. <gasps> be quiet. Do you hear that? What can that strange noise be? Good job, Kuba. If the stones are wet, that means that water is nearby. <gasps> it's a really big cave, and it's full of water. But the water looks very deep. Oh, but wait, I thought of something. 
something. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. It's the stone flower. But how do we get to it? Hey, you guys. I've got an idea. I need your help. Bring me a piece of that magical rock. In my country, in the jungle, there is an abandoned village. I saw something just like this there. That stone flower! Bye, what's up? <laughs> no! Your flower, but now it's ours! <laughs> <laughs> you bring Get that back to us right now! Oh no, now our grove will most definitely dry out. Yay! We did it! Yay! Good job! <laughs> oh, such a shame. <laughs> We've lost everything. <laughs> oh, I'm not worthy of my ancestors. <laughs> Water? Where's that coming from? Oh, what is this miracle? How did you manage to do this? This is your stone flower. <laughs> and a little hard work. <laughs> Good work, girls. <laughs> but how did the map stated, without the stone, the water will not flow? Tig, you mixed it up. The map said the water doesn't flow under the stone. But koalas barely drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. Ah, and don't forget Kubor. He was a very big help. Oh, Kubor? <laughs> oh my goodness. As a reward, I will give you your own <gasps> eucalyptus. Yes. Hey, hey, make some wet rain. Ho, ho, give me water, stone, stone. Stone, stone. <laughs> Something isn't working. Hey, where's the water? <laughs> Maybe you're not doing the dance the right way. I've had enough of this dance already. <laughs> what are you looking at? Well, hmm. I have no choice but to thank you. Dayan, behold our grove's eucalyptus gum. It is the stickiest in the whole wide world. Here we go, everyone. Full steam ahead. <laughs> The tree hair. The wind is getting stronger. We need to find bigger rocks so the ship doesn't blow away. Uh-huh. Check it out. There's a good rock for the ballast. Uh. Hey, let me help you out with that. Uh. Hey, Martin, why don't you try to find a spring? Uh. Uh. Or otherwise, yeah. our water will run out. Uh, all right, all right, go heave house. Yeah. Hey, hey, Feelin! Ooh, Wake up already! <laughs> hey, Feelin! Let him sleep, Milky. We can't fly in this weather. Anyway, when he's sleeping, he's not eating. Let's go. Let's go <laughs> see. See if we can find some food. What's that strange animal? <laughs> animal. That's a hare. But a lot plumper and with a long tail. And he's hopping through the trees with a pouch on his tummy. And there seems to be a hare in his pouch as well. Oh, I remember. That's called a tree kangaroo. A wallaby. My dad told me all about that animal, and there's even a legend about it. Once upon a time, there were wild animals with quite long tails. They were called 
kangaroos. They jumped around the earth and they carried their babies in pouches. There was a baby kangaroo and it was called a joey. And the joey couldn't jump very far. But one day he learned that at the top of the very highest cliff, there is a magical wallaby stone which grants a wish only once every hundred years. So the Joey decided to climb all the way up the cliff. It was a long and difficult journey for a little kangaroo, but he managed to climb up the wallaby stone. He made a wish, and afterwards he began to jump very high and very far, not only on the ground, but also in the trees. They began to call him Little Kangaroo, a tree kangaroo, or a wallaby. I wish we'd find a magical stone. That's just what we need now. Then we could wish for help, and we could get Lily back home even faster. <gasps> Did you hear that, Milky? That cliff over there has a magical stone that grants wishes. Uh-huh. But where do we find it, Spike? <laughs> um. Hey, that's it! Look over there! Look, 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 look. <laughs> Hi there! You're a good jumper! Look what I can do! Huh. Huh. Oh, wow! That was cool! I am Marnik, but who are you? They call me Wallaroo! I'm a tree kangaroo, a wallaby, the best jumper in Australia! Uh. Well, soon I'll be the best jumper. <laughs> Woohoo! Jump over here! Oh! Back into Mama's pouch! Back in the pouch! Back in the pouch! But I can jump all by myself! I'm big now! <sighs> You're so lucky. You get to ride in a pouch. I'd like to try riding in a pouch. Even if it were just once. Huh! I've got an idea! You can quietly jump in the pouch instead of me. Then I can practice on my own. All right? <laughs> Spike! Oh, we're never gonna make it up there. All we need to do is find ourselves some ninny who's gonna show us the way to get up there. Then the magic wallaby stone is gonna get us out of here. <laughs> Hooray! Look at me! Freedom! Finally! The most impressive jumper in all of Australia! Hooray! Hey! Spike, maybe he can help us? Hey, that's true. He is a good jumper. Uh, uh, hey, yo! What's your name, huh? I'm Wallaroo. I'm a tree kangaroo. Listen, and you? jumping on trees is for wimps. But if you climb that big rock over there... Now that's where it's at, my little friend. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> but I bet you're too little. There's no way you could do that, could you? Me? You think I'm too little? Listen, you, I can easily jump up there and show everyone I'm not a baby, especially my mama. Oh, what are you waiting for, then? <laughs> Come on, kangaroo. <laughs> Let's go, huh, Wormaroo, or whatever your name is. Come on and show everyone what you can do, man. <laughs> yeah, show us. Hey, kid, what do you say? Is there a wallaby stone up there or something else? You see it? Will you please toss the rock down to us? Hey, buddy! Where did he go? A wallaby stone? It's the highest stone up here. This is the wallaby stone. I'm standing on oh, it. Oh, you don't say. Uh, that rock up there is the wallaby stone? Oh, come on. Let's go, Milky. We got to wait for it to warm up and then convince Phyllin to take us all the way up there. Hey, what about me? Wait for me. Just come down the same way you got up there. It's easy. Jump, hop, jump, hop. But well, we're out of time. We got stuff to do. Hey. Bye-bye. And while you're up there, don't go asking any riddles. Hold on, but wait for me. Why are you leaving me all alone? Uh, uh, Mama! Uh, 
Joey, wouldn't you like to take a bath? No! No, 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 oh, no! Oh, you're such a little piggy, aren't you? <gasps> but you're not my little precious Wallaroo. No, I'm Mardik. I'm sorry, ma'am. But where is Wallaroo? He didn't want to ride in the pouch anymore. He's grown up now and wants to jump on his own. So he's out practicing as we speak. <gasps> Wallaroo! My Joey! How did he get on the cliff? We must hurry! <gasps> Tig, reset the ballast. Let's untie the ship. Hurry! We need to get up there before the storm starts. Helping my little Wallaroo. Mama, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I won't trick you ever again, I promise. Mama was so worried, my son. But if you are able to climb that cliff, then that means that you really are big now. So we can start to practice jumping on the great big eucalyptus tree. <laughs> <laughs> I have the best mama in the whole world. <laughs> Goodbye. Kids! Goodbye! Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll see you! Thank you! Bye. 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 Bye! Bye! Thank you so much, everyone! Come back soon! We'll <laughs> jump on the highest eucalyptus tree together! <laughs> I want to make a wish! No, a treasure! I want all the no, treasure! I want a ship! I want no, it all. I want treasure! <laughs> no, wait! Quiet, everyone! I wish for the great treasure from the monkey tribe! Ready? Hold, hold. Ah, oh, okay, I get it, fine. I bet that this is all because of that bouncing tree kangaroo baby. That little baby must have already made a wish. He went and wasted our wish. Ugh. Now we're gonna have to wait another hundred years. We failed. Oh, let's get out of here. Hold, hold. Mice, 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 mice. mice. The funny cassowary. My turn. <laughs> Scaredy cat. <laughs> it's my turn. I won, I won. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Lily, be careful. You should sit down. You're going to fall off. I can't sit down. Not until I finish my stretches. Okay, I get it. I enjoy stretching too. And one, and... Whoa! Whoa! Lily! Lily! Whoa, what happened? Uh... Oh, oh, look who fell down from the sky. How interesting. Who are you? Stay away from me. How did I get here? <laughs> If I stay away from you, then how will I do this? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cass. 
And this is Kalunda. He's a master of the pipe and drums. <laughs> I'm Lily. Thanks for your help. <laughs> hey, do you live here? Huh? This forest is our magnificent home. Home sweet home. <laughs> Can you please tell me where the highest spot is around here? I really need to find it. Oh, it's not far from here. We'll take you there. <laughs> uh, you know, Kalunda and I were just getting ready to have some lunch. <laughs> is it okay if we eat something first? Huh? That sounds good. I'm always ready to eat. <laughs> uh, so what do you eat here? I don't see anything that looks good to snack on. Follow us, my little friend. We know how to find the best food. Kalunda! <coughs> there is nothing better than going along, strolling the forest while singing a song. <coughs> if you sing a duo with a good friend, all around we'll hear that great sound. <coughs> Come on and sing now. Feel free to go chance. Woo! Sing and do it round. Look! Look at that! But who's that with him? Hey! <laughs> oh, but such rhythm! What a dancer! Come see our troop, Lily! Oh, may I? As if you have to ask! Come along, <laughs> there's some food! <laughs> Help yourself. You deserve it. Go ah. right ahead. Well, well. Once again, that clown is embarrassing our proud family and singing his stupid songs for an audience. So unacceptable. Ah. And all those ridiculous dances of his. Utterly disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and he has the nerve to go and laugh at us? Actually, only at you and your butterfly. Get on and get out of our forest. But that, that isn't fair. You can't kick out Cass. He's just like you two. <laughs> We're birds of honor. If Cass wants to stay, then let him show that he's a dignified cassowary. But how can he do that? <laughs> By beating one of them in a traditional cassowary competition. <laughs> and if you win, you can stay. Otherwise, you have to leave and stop embarrassing all of us. And what happens if you lose? Us? <laughs> <laughs> Lily, they both practice every single day. Well, if you lose, you have to dance with Cass. You want us proud cassowaries to jump around like silly birdies? <laughs> Not going to happen. That joker doesn't stand a chance. Well, even so, I'm still going to try. It'll be good to see if these cassowaries can dance to my friend Kalunda's pipe and drum music! Hmm. I declare that the match will take place at the sacred ficus tree. Right? Lily! Lily! Lily, hello! Hello! Lily, answer me! Uh, maybe we should land? But where? There's no spot to land around here. It's full of trees. <sighs> Yara, let's fly a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are gathered here today to settle the issue of whether Cass is worthy of being called a cassowary. <laughs> 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 
Now, legend has it that many, many years ago, there was no peace to be found in our forest. There were many arguments and many fights. Some fought over the watering hole. Others were to sleep. And others were because they could not share their food. And the fighting just wouldn't seem to end. The wisest inhabitant of the forest, a cassowary as legend has it, asked the forest to become a fair judge for all the animals in the area. And the forest responded to the cassowary's request. In the blink of an eye, a sacred ficus sprung up from the earth. It was a wise old tree that could always tell a truth from a lie. With its strong branches, it could determine without fail who was right and who was guilty. And then peace proceeded to reign over the forest. Enough legends! That's nothing but an old wives' tale. Come on, let's get down to business and kick this buffoon out of the forest already. Well, in that case, then may the great and always fair match of the cassowaries begin. I'm going to throw you out of our forest once and for all. Hey, no. This is my forest, too. Cass, come on. You can do it. It's almost like dancing. Come on, dance away. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Ah, no. Ah. 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 What? Cass, dance away! Now we'll see who the real cassowary is around here. <laughs> ah. According to our rules, Cass must leave the forest at once. But that's not fair. I was tripped up. It sounds to me like someone is a sore loser. Did anyone see you get tripped up? Hmm. You see, no one saw anything at all. You're nothing but a clown and a liar, too. I saw him trip. And if you don't believe me, then let's ask the sacred ficus. It'll mm. tell us who's lying. <laughs> the ficus? That's nothing but a legend. You dumb little animal. Come on. Did you really trip I, him up? I, I, uh... I'll have you know that singing and dancing is better than lying in order to win. I, 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 I didn't want to. I, I was, I was wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I won't do it again. <laughs> Cass, you are welcome to stay with us. I think that maybe you're forgetting about one more rule, aren't you? Where's Lily? Lily! Ugh. Lily, hello? This is all my fault. <gasps> hey, guys, look over there. There she is. Lily. Hooray. Lily. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, I have to admit, you're really good at this. I think I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> We're going to get some fruit. We'll be back soon. We know what soon means to you guys. The Royal Aroma. Ugh. Oh, who's there? <laughs> huh? You're so cute. Who are you? <sighs> Don't be scared. My name is Yara, and this is Lily and Mila. <laughs> My name is Pasa. Do you need some help? Okay. <laughs> My home isn't far away. <sighs> this smells so good. What exactly is it? That's some pollen. For fragrances. For fragrances? How interesting. Yeah. 
I make delicious aromas called Passaroma out of pollen and nectar. I use a very old recipe book. <sighs> That is so amazing. It reminds me of the smell of 1,000 incredibly pretty flowers. Oh, what a wonderful smell indeed. Yes, but it can't compare with the magnificent King's aroma. The only one who knew how to make it was my brother Soma. But my brother was a real master of anything and everything to do with fine herbs. He knew every single recipe. But then one day, without warning, the great flood carried him off to sea. <gasps> and since then, I haven't ever seen him again. Oh, Pasa, I'm so sorry. Come on, step up, come on! Don't miss out! Come get your different fragrances! All are most wonderful! They're bright, they're delicious, they're flowery! Wow. <laughs> By the way, friends, my name is Opa! Don't forget that name now! Very, very soon I'll be the best aroma master in all of Australia! Ew! This one smells... <clears throat> Not quite right. What do you mean? Which one doesn't smell right? But this smells really great. Aroma Opa is black cardamom, guava steam, David Sonia, manuka, and of course, macadamia. Uh, I don't know. Somehow, pasas just seem kind of <sighs> so much better. Uh huh. Pasas are better. Pasas are more delicious. Fooey, you don't know anything. What's wrong with him? <sighs> Don't pay attention to him. Oppa just can't seem to get any of his fragrances to smell just right. But you know what? You all helped me, so I have a surprise for you. I want to welcome you to my <laughs> special spa. <gasps> what about the others? They're waiting for us. Mila, we'll be really quick, okay? <sighs> oh, come on, girls. A real bath. A nice warm bath. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> trouble! Trouble! Come quickly! The flowers are sick! Fungus! It's a fungus! That's a great idea! We can cure the flowers from the fungus. I heard it said once a long time ago, a long time ago, that there were these huge flowers called monkey cups. And all those monkey cups gave off a magical pollen which was able to miraculously cure flowers from the sooty fungus. But then, the great flood occurred and we suddenly became an island. Legend says that the magical monkey cups still grow there, but no one can manage to reach that island by swimming. Well, if we're not able to swim there, then perhaps we could... We could fly there? Fly there? That's a great idea! Of course we can fly over there! Maybe our flying ship can... Uh, um, maybe, um... Maybe you can take Pasa to get the healing pollen? And I'll stay here and try to save the flowers that are left. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do this. Uh, wait, I forgot to take my baskets back inside. I'll do it. Don't you worry. <laughs> well, where did you disappear to? And why do you smell so good? That's wonderful. Hey, boys. This is Pasa. <gasps> she makes these wonderful fragrances and incredible aromas. And she's in need of our help. That's it. The island. Over there. Hurry. Goodness, it's so cool! Over there! That's them! Look, it's the magic 
beautiful monkey cups. Don't go anywhere near these plants. They're dangerous. Let me give you a hand. Soma? Pasa? Hey, this is Soma, my long lost brother. Pasa, little sister, you've gotten so big. I can't believe my eyes. We all thought you were lost. <clears throat> well, thankfully, I didn't drown in the great flood. The water carried me to this island, but I couldn't find my way back home. Ah, I've been stuck here the whole time. What a nightmare! That monkey cup almost swallowed me up whole. Well, actually, monkey cups are a predatory plant. But Opa told us that they might save the flowers and that their cups might have magical pollen. But monkey cups don't even have pollen, and they definitely don't help cure anything. I think maybe Opa was mistaken. All right, let's get everything and head on back home. Hmm, that's weird. This is not a sooty fungus. This is... Wait, it's... This is nothing but paint! It's paint? But why would someone paint the flowers? Did Opa maybe want to get us off the island for some reason or another? <laughs> Opa is the greatest. Opa has thought of everything. Opa did it. Now everyone will only be able to get their fragrances from me. Opa, are you actually trying to steal the recipe book? S Soma, Pasa, uh... What? Were you hoping to never see us again? <laughs> Opa, stop! 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 <laughs> Hoot! A mouse! Hoot! A mouse! Hoot! 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 Someone help! Someone help me! Oh no! Opa! We have to save him! <laughs> well, little sis, are you ready? Right, when we were kids! Uh. <laughs> I can't see! I can't see anything! Hoot! Hoot! I can't see! Hoot! I can see! I can see again! Why'd you do that? Why did you save me? If it weren't for your sneaky plan, Possa wouldn't have ever found me on that island. It's kind of strange, but I owe my being saved to you as well. I'm sorry. I've just never been able to get the fine herbs just right like you always seem to. I was really jealous of you, and I decided to steal the book of recipes to learn the secret. There's actually no secret that can be learned. You see, once upon a time, long, long ago, all the animals came to the Cuscuses for the wonderful and fine aromas. However, one day, the Cuscuses argued over whose aromas were the best of them all and their souls filled with envy, spoiling him in the most perfect aromas. No one came back to the Cuscuses. The recipes were all but forgotten. So King Cuscus, the wisest of the Cuscuses, ordered that all the recipes be collected and put into one recipe book. And I hid the most important recipe on the very last page. You can mix any aromas you like, you see, but there is one trick that makes all the difference. Do it with love. Pasa, hey, so, you know, I was wondering, can we take a <laughs> bath? But of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you go. Try this, please. That's the stuff. Now, now that, that is, is a real, real royal, royal aroma. aroma. <laughs> Koopa! <laughs> the secret to any task is love and friendship and never envy. Villain! 
But where did he get to? Meeting with a Tasmanian. You, sir, have infringed on my territory! I have never heard anything more offensive in my entire life. You, sir, have infringed on my territory. So, dear... I think that there is only one way that we can settle this. Yes, with, with a, a duel! duel. Oh, how fascinating. What an interesting aroma. Oh, it's amazing. It's almost like it's almost like a quan dog, but a little bit different. <sighs> Come over here. I found a new aroma. Ah, well, well. Yes, that's a fragrant ficus. All right, be quick. Pack it up. Don't be stingy. Yeah. <laughs> Someone save me, please. Ah! Someone help! <laughs> Oot, oot, my soo, oot, 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 mice, 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 <laughs> hey, where did the sun go? Oh, I can't take it. What a silly bird. Who's there? Let me out of here right now. Forget it. Like I've got nothing better to do. I prey on weak, young, and old, too. I love to waste time in dark dealings, creeping through the shadows. You've been warned. Better run away or I'll leave you squealing. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. I love scaring kids right out their seats and watch how they all cry for their mommies. You can search the world and seven seas. More wicked than me, you'll find nobody. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong, you're absolutely strong! <laughs> Me. <laughs> Villain! Where are you? Villain! Hey, but where did he get to? He must have flown off to eat something. Villain! Hello! If we let Spots and Stripes get away, then there's no way that we'll ever get our hands on that treasure! Did I just hear someone mention the word treasure? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I, I suppose I did, but uh, just so you know, it's not really any of your business. Everything that happens in Tasman's forest is Tasman's business. What? What do you mean, your forest? Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good joke. If you're out here looking for treasure, then I just need you to do one thing. Bring me a piece of it. I know everything that goes on around here. You got some nerve, buddy. I'll have you know that treasure is all ours. Aha. But is the treasure still even there? Well, it might be, but it isn't for you. <sighs> if you don't want to do things the right way, we'll do it my way. So come on and tell me all about this treasure and where to look for it. Hey, Melky. Okay, I think, I think we lost him. Uh-huh. I think we 
lost him! Ooh. Utterly outrageous! Yes, there's no greater crime than breaking up a duel. You silly fools should have known better. We shall continue this duel. But first, let us deal with these insolent creatures, my dear sir. Uh, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe we can all sit down and discuss this, huh? Or, or something like that. <laughs> yes, we shall teach them. A worthy lesson, indeed. Get ready. Mike, please do something. Uh, I have an idea. How about I give you Milky? <laughs> He's quiet. He's very nice. What? <laughs> He's a sweet kid. You'll love him. Yes, very nice. <laughs> Uh. Hey, huh? don't stand around. Let's go. Oh, never in my life have I been dropped to the ground twice in the very same day. If you ask me, we shouldn't tell anyone about this most humiliating episode. What do you say? <laughs> huh? You see that? Do you see how great I am? Without me, you'd have been done for. Now you two really must bring me a share of that treasure. Uh, Spike, uh, let's just do it. Uh, our buddy Tasman here is strong and agile, huh? Uh, he can protect us. Uh-huh. And then what's next? You're gonna want us to bring him our treasure? Don't be afraid, brothers. We'll divide it up evenly. Well, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, if you think that would be fair, I mean... Spike, what do you mean? Well, I happen to know where you can find that crazy bird, your friend. It's a deal! Great. Now tell me all about this treasure. Well, I'll just show you. Uh-huh. We'll show you. <laughs> Leo. I really don't get it. Tell me, why do we need so much food? Well, if we're going to be leaving Australia, Tig, we don't know how long we'll have to be flying across the ocean. Okay, Leo, you're right. We need to hurry. The monkey's treasure might very well be in danger. Kuba? Hey, Kuba! Get out you of see? Do you get it now? Uh-huh. So we follow them and then nab the treasure. We'll snatch it right out from under their noses. <laughs> but where is your flying ship? Well, you see, you said you knew where to find Philin. Oh. One, two, and pull! <laughs> oh, be careful. Take it easy with my feathers. Hoot, hoot. Pull harder, pull harder! Do a better job this time! Come on, help us! Don't just stand there! Yeah! Come help us! <laughs> I am helping you! Helping you keep a rhythm! One, two, and pull! Hey, why'd you stop? Go on, get back to work! Whoa! <laughs> Lily, I've been thinking. Since you're the captain, how about making me your first mate? <laughs> Lily, you should pick me instead. <laughs> you, Tig? But you're afraid of heights. Well, maybe I am. But I'll be careful. And anyway, Leo, don't forget, you're the one who's always falling over and things like that. Well, I'm more fun. If anyone here should be the first mate, it should be me. Yeah, I agree. However, I'm the first first mate. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, whenever I'm homesick, I just take a look at our boys. They'll never ever change. <laughs> I wonder where Spike and his brother are right now. Yeah. <sighs> Hoot. Hoot. Follow that ship, you bird. Hoot? Stop, stop, stop! Who do you think you're ordering around? Oh, yeah, I forgot. From now on, I'll be the one in charge. And whoever doesn't like it can go ahead and jump off. 